Hello, this is a tutorial on the Scrip fundraiser for Young Youth Adventures. This is the Google site for Young Youth Adventures. If you scroll down to the bottom under fundraising, there is a clickable form here. Click on it. I have Windows 10, so it's going to look a little bit different if you have Windows 7 or even 8. This is a fillable form, but right now I cannot fill it in because I have to download it. So you guys can't see this, but I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Here's the download button. I'm going to download, or I can open over here, but I want to download. So it's going to download it. I click OK. It is going to be located in your downloads file. So if I go to my downloads, I'm going to look for probably one of these. Let me get rid of these. Alright, I'm going to go back and do it again. So script fundraiser order form dot PDF. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to download it again. Okay. Go back to my downloads. Here it is. This is a fillable form. So you now can put your name in there order date, check number, because if you give chip by check, you move this down just a little bit. All right, so script, what is it? All right, so Megan Kaufhammer has set this up. What you do is JCPenney $25 gift card. That is a like a credit card but it's not coming out of a bank account. It is money that is preloaded onto that card. So it's saying that you want to have a $25 gift card from JCPenney. You can only use that gift card at JCPenney. So you want to have one, which means the total here, $25, Okay, so you want one for $25. Of that $25, the church, Young Youth Adventures, gets 4.5%. So if I want to get one from Kohl's worth $25, I can go to Kohl's once I get the card, and on that card is $25. I can use it just at Kohl's. I can also use it online. So department store, JCPenney, Kohl's, Sears. Dining, Apples, Bees, Olive Garden, Outback Steakhouse, etc. The percentages are telling you how much of that is being given to Young Youth Adventures. So if you go through here, you can see who's giving the most, like Nike, 12%. That's pretty good. Bath and Body Works, 13% of the $10. Cabela's, 10.5% of the 25 So you would go through and you would say, okay, I want one of this. If that's 25 If you want two, two. 2 times 25 is 50. So this is a fillable form now. You can now go down here and you total up all the columns that you have. You can do math and put in your total here. Then you would save this form and you can send it in an email. If you have problems with that, let me go into that. So I'm going to open my email. I use Outlook. Some use Yahoo. Some use Gmail. That's all right. 
So I'm going to open an email. This is just my school email. I have several on here. This is my personal email. All right. So I'm going to go back to this form. I put my name in. Let's just say my name. Actually, oops, I have a cat block on. So I'm going to save it. So I'm going to go up to save as church. I'm just going to choose a different folder because I want to change the name. I'm going to put in my downloads, but I'm going to put it as sample email. Okay. So I'm going to save this. I would recommend that you put script fundraiser order form and your name. So how about I just do that for right now, just so that you guys understand. So I'm going to put in Rebecca Taylor. Save. It's in my downloads file. All right, so I bring up that email again. I'm going to type it to church, UMC Pard, as you can see it already comes up, UMC Pard at frontier.com. I'm going to type in the subject, script fundraiser you can send it to church and it can be sent on to Megan but I'm pretty sure that Megan wants it sent to her so let's go back to the website this is Megan's email so I'm going to highlight it and copy email address paste this is Megan's email. I'm going to send it to Megan because she's in charge of this. So I could send her a nice, lovely message. So I'm going to browse this PC just to help you out. It's, it was in my downloads, so I'm going to search for it. It's under script. There's my name. I'm going to click on it. It's attached. And I'm going to send it to her. In the email, you should probably state when you're going to be giving her the check or the cash um, for these that are listed. So you would state, I'll get it to you sometime, or you can drop it off at her house. Okay? If you have any questions, you can email me at b e k a l o u t a y l o r at gmail.com or you can find me on facebook i'm becca lou